everyone. Welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan B. Butler. Once again, we continue our material here coming from the big launch of Rise of Skywalker and Skywalker Saga back starting on March 31st in the U.S. and working its way forward. At this point, we've looked at all the stuff from the U.K. we're going to look at with the exception of the buy and keep versions of the Blu-ray and DVD from Sky Store. Those are working their way to me slowly but surely, and eventually once those come in, we'll take the time to take a look at both of those. For the U.S., we've looked at pretty much everything, but one new thing that has arrived on the radar that we'll look at in our next episode that kind of ties into this episode, from Australia, two of the five items have arrived. We're going to look at two of those here today in this episode, and then eventually look at the other three when they finally do arrive. I also have some orders in from South Korea. That's all stuff that hasn't even been released yet, so it'll be working its way here very soon once it does get released. Uh, and for Japan, we've looked at the only two we were going to look at, that nice box set and their steelbook. So, again, returning to the idea that in this episode we're looking at Australia. It's not a place we usually see a lot from. But they did something that the U.S. did not do. In the U.S., if you wanted to buy the Skywalker Saga box set, this was your only option. Yes, this is the one from Best Buy because it's got that booger glue residue over here. Uh, from the J card on it. So you know it's not the UK when we looked at last time that doesn't have it, that by just virtue of that alone becomes nicer. What we've got here was the only way to get some of the new discs released as part of that launch. Because remember, all the films that had never gotten a 4K release before got one of these, right? So that was episodes one through six, the original films from Lucas, seven, and Rogue One. They all got this kind of new release. And it was a little bit frustrating because this was the 4K version of the 2019 cut, the Blu-ray of the 2019 cut, and the new bonus disc plus a digital version. Whereas the ones that look like this but that are not the 4K Ultimate Collector's Edition, that are neither Ultimate nor Collector's Edition, that we got back in September, October, and November of 2019, those look very similar, but they are multi-screen editions. They are Blu-ray and digital code, or they are DVD only, and those were the 2011 cuts, the ones from the original Blu-ray releases of 1 through 6, no updates to any of the film discs or anything like that, which was very, very frustrating. Well, one of the other frustrating things to go along with that was the fact that since they were releasing these only for the ones that hadn't been released on 4K before, they didn't do a reissue of Solo or of Last Jedi in this type of packaging on March 31st. Since then, this for Last Jedi has started to appear on shelves. We're going to look at this next episode. I did a little PSA on this recently, but we'll look at that in the next episode. But right after the U.S. release, uh, within, I think, a day of the U.S. release, here come the Australian releases. And in Australia, they kind of got screwed a little bit in the sense that they had their Skywalker Saga releases, their Rise of Skywalker releases, and their 4K releases, and the Blu-ray and DVD only releases in the black packaging all on the same day. At least our Blu-ray slash digital versions and our DVD only versions were back in September, albeit a previous cut of the film, but at least there was some distance between these product launches. In Australia, they just got slammed because they got even more stuff. And we are going to look in the next episode about Australian stuff, when we have that stuff in hand here, we are going to take a look at the three different possibilities of buying one film in Australia. We'll look at A New Hope to see how their approach in the black packaging varies from the U.S. Um, uh, just to kind of give you a sense of what is available out there. But in Australia, along with that big push of the stuff that we think of as what we got on the 31st and what we got in September, they also got two things we did not. They got new 4K releases for Last Jedi and Solo. Many fans wanting to complete that aspect of their collection have been picking these up from Australia, though it takes so long to get here that by the time Last Jedi got here, there was a U.S. equivalent, sort of, as we will see next episode. Beware of that one. 4K Ultra HD, 4K Ultra HD plus two disc Blu-ray. There's our image there like we saw in September for the U.S., we have the rating here. It's mature rating over there in Australia, Science Fiction Violets. Spine here. We have Lucasfilm, Star Wars The Last Jedi. This says three disc set. Product number, Ultra HD Blu-ray, and rating. So it will look a little different on your shelf because it does have the Australian stuff on it there. In the back, very much like what we'd see in the U.S. for the most part. Explore the power of the Force. 
and then it tells us a little bit about the film, tells us about the 4K Ultra Blu-ray disc and the Blu-ray disc, cast crew information, technical specifications, the various logos like region free, which is important, legalese, UPC symbol, and recommended for mature audiences. Um, then down there in a little box, I do like the fact it says 2017 release, so it lets you know when the movie itself actually came out. So the big question here is what's actually in it? Because the big concern with Last Jedi in the U.S. was the fact that it didn't get an individual release at all. So if you wanted to buy a 4K Ultimate Collector's Edition, a 4K slash Blu-ray slash digital copy, you had to buy the old one for 2018, and that one had the old discs. Whereas the Skywalker Saga box set had an updated label on the 4K disc, had the score-only version of being able to watch the film available on an updated Blu-ray disc, with a new logo or a new uh, label. And then the bonus disc was also updated to add Meet the Porgs that had been an exclusive to Target on a new one that also had a new label to match the other ones in that set. So, so that question of, well, why buy the old 4K version? Why not wait in the US for those new discs that were only available here to maybe be released otherwise? Well, that begs the question, did the people in Australia have to wait or was this the new discs? Well, thankfully, the people who did this for Australia were intelligent. So, we have the updated label 4K disc. We have the updated label Blu-ray and updated label Blu-ray bonus disc. We'll look at what's actually on each of these. We got the logo here for Last Jedi, Lucasfilm, Lots and lots of legalese and whatnot going around here. No copying. Subject to applicable law. Copyright 2020. Lucasfilm Limited. 4K Ultra HD. Uh, Dolby Digital Plus. Dolby Digital. Dolby Atmos. Ultra HD Blu-ray. Product number. That is for the 4K disc. In the 4K updated disc. I just tweaked a little bit with menus and that sort of thing and the label. But it's not like they actually changed what you get on the disc itself. Blu-ray. Again. Logo at the top, 2020 copyright date, so it's updated disc. Blu-ray disc, Lucasfilm, Region ABC, Dolby Digital, DTS HD Master Audio, product number, legalese, and the no copying thing down there at the bottom as well. This does have the score only option. It is the updated disc that in the US is only found in the Skywalker Saga box set. And then the updated bonus disc also in the U.S. only found in the Skywalker Saga box set. This is the one with Meet the Porgs on it. Logo, Blu-ray, bonus, Lucasfilm, rating, the Dolby thing, the product number, the copyright notice, and the legalese and everything on the bottom. So in Australia, they didn't have to wait. If you want the updated discs for Last Jedi, but you weren't intending on buying a giant box set, you could just buy it here. There's no slip cover, and it looks a little different, it's a little bit thicker, has the Australian stuff on it, so it's not going to look exactly the same in your American collection, but at least it filled that gap back at the beginning of April. They also released something the U.S. hasn't seen even a crappy version of yet, which is a reissue here in the black packaging for 4K of Solo. Again, same breakdown here, so we won't delve too much into it, but Solo getting a reissue here. Similar spine. Right, with the, the three-disc set. Similar setup for the back. And the question was, what about Solo gets changed, if anything? So we've got our Solo label for 4K. Okay. And I do not have any earlier copies from Australia to compare these two. So the film disc can set up very similarly. And then, according to some friends of mine who are actually in Australia, in part of that uh, home video group, they've noted that the bonus disc back in the original release in 2018 looked like the U.S. one. It was sort of that bright orangish red uh, one with you know all the characters appearing on it. This is the bonus disc instead for this reissue: Solo, Blu-ray, Bonus, Lucasfilm, Dolby, you know the region, the product number, all that kind of stuff we just saw a moment ago. It's like they decided to go with sort of a change to kind of make it match the others by making a grayscale image on the bottom, but it goes higher than the other ones. It's the ship image there rather than a behind-the-scenes image, 
and you would have hoped, hey, wait a second, I don't know if there's anything that could have been added to the Blu-ray that was digital only, like with Last Jedi having that score-only version of the film that was added to the Blu-ray, but there was a Target-exclusive bonus feature for Solo. Maybe that got added to this disc to give us an updated Solo bonus disc, and that's why they changed the label. Unfortunately, whereas Australia nails it with this one being available immediately, not so much with Solo. The bonus disc has a new label, but the same content as before. In other words, the extra featurette you could have gotten at Target over here did not get added to that bonus disc. Same disc, different label, no changes to the copy of Solo here. But if you're wanting to have ones that match for Last Jedi and Solo, these are the ones people started picking up in early April to fill that gap because we were told that eventually we'll get something that looks like this in that black packaging for the US for Last Jedi and Solo. We didn't know when it was going to actually happen or what it would entail. Turns out for Solo we haven't seen it, but we have seen it for Last Jedi. And what it entailed was some bullshit. We'll see that in the next episode. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching and may the force be with the home video viewers.